In this experiment, we are trying to demonstrate a concept known as inertia. You may ask the question, what is an inertia? It says that an object, if it's at rest, it will remain to be at rest. Or if an object is moving, it will want to continue to move. So this simple experiment will show you something sort of like, let's just say when you are in a car and you are, you are the passenger, for example, have you ever wondered why you need to put on a seatbelt? Because when the car is mowing, it will have the tendency to want to keep mowing. That's the reason why if you don't put on a seatbelt, you quickly just move to the front and that could be potentially unsafe or fatter. So what we have here, we have a ball and this particular ball is just sitting on top of a bigger depth water in it. So try and predict before I do the experiment, what do you think will happen? Do you think that the ball will go straight to the ground? Or do you think the ball will move towards the left or the right when I'm pulling this away? So I have a white tar, I have a ball, I have this, uh, this toilet roll. All right, so let's try this right now. It is on. So on your mark, get set, let's do it. So do a countdown. Three, two, one, let's go. Do you manage to get the result that you 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 think it, it sh you you will be getting? So in this case, that the ball actually fell off, you know, straight towards the water. And the reason for that is because the ball was still, it wants to remain still, even though there's movement, it will continue to fall. You could also talk about gravitational force, which is involved, but because it's still and gravitational force force pulls it right down, and that's the reason why it ends up in the beaker.